Oh, so cool. If you haven't seen one of these two, this Sunday, it will be a total lunar eclipse. The moon will be covered basically by the Earth's shadow and then turn red when it reappears. We, we, we thought we got it. We got to reach out to NASA. We got to talk to Jim. Jim Garvin, NASA Goddard Space Flight Center chief scientist. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Love it. L listen, tell me what's going to happen on Sunday night. Walk me through this. Well, first, lunar eclipses are spectacular, fairly frequent once or twice a year, but these celestial dances remind us of our place in space. And in this case, the moon will be totally blocked from sunlight by the shadow of the Earth and projecting essentially lots of sunrises onto the lunar surface as the sun is blocked by our planet. And this kind of event reminds us of the dance of the moon and the Earth around the sun and of all the planets. And what's really spectacular about this one is it'll be a coppery red glowing moon. It sort of looks more like Mars than the moon, but this is still the moon. Hey, Jim, let me ask you this. So the reddish color, how is that happening? So our Earth has a big atmosphere. We live with that atmosphere, of course, you know, like the air we breathe. And that atmosphere acts like a special lens filter. And so when, when, it, when the Earth blocks the sun, a little bit of sunlight gets through the atmosphere and the blue light is filtered out and the red light gets through, casting that tail of many sunrises and sunsets onto the moon and making it glow that eerie, almost, you know, horror film-like like red, but it's really an exciting consequence of the way this geometry works, the dance of the planets. I, it, I've seen this multiple times, and you can just never get enough to seeing it over and over again. Let me switch topics on you real quick, because, you know, we sent people to the moon in the Apollo program, and now the plan is to send them back with the Artemis program. Where are we on that? Just how far away are we from getting folks there? Well, we're making tremendous progress. We've been mapping the moon for 13 years with the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, laying the groundwork for the first women, for the first people of color to go to the lunar surface through, a, through Project uh, Artemis. And while we're doing that, we're getting ready to send new robotic warriors to the moon. Mm -hmm. These new explorers, the Viper rover, who doesn't like Viper, will prospect <laughs> for resources near the South Pole where we'll be sending people. We're also gonna use commercial services to get NASA payloads to the moon. This new partnership with the space commercial industries will open that lunar frontier. So when we send those women and those people of color, we will see that new moon. And the frontier we're visiting will be near the South Pole, near places nearby to where the people land that have not seen sunlight for billions of years. These are special places in our solar system, and they're right next door on the moon. I, I can't wait. Real quickly, because I know we have running out of time real quick. Um, is there a time frame that we want to get humans back up on the moon? Or are we just kind of playing it out and seeing how it works? Well, the time frame is in the next several years mm -hmm. as Project Artemis goes through its, its testing program, testing the SLS system, flying a spacecraft that will allow the Orion spacecraft and then the human landing systems to carry those women and people of color. All this is going to happen in the next few years. Oh, as I the can't... robots go back and as we map, just literally be on the edge of your seat because it's all going to happen. Oh, no, I've been waiting. Trust me, I wasn't alive the first time we did this, so I can't wait to see this. Listen, thank you so much for taking some time this morning to join us, talk about the eclipse and uh, Artemis. Thank you. Thank you. Go moon. Go moon. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. That was really cute. Go I thought moon. he was going to say go balls. <laughs> I really did for a second there. Uh -huh.